When I was young, my mother used to warn me against animal abuse and plant destruction. I didn't understand why. When I was five, she introduced me to tree planting. Though its significance eluded me, how could it be so important? I'm Nurul Izaza, representative of Rio University, here to present a persuasive speech and is connected to SDG.15, Jerk and Ecotourism Model in Tesonilo National Park to support the sustainability of an indigenous community and our biodiversity. Ladies and gentlemen, the deterioration of the environment has brought on environmental calamities. These circumstances have called on urgent actions to restore our surroundings. Despite the government's past search effort, the global industry release in 2019 showed that Indonesia's achievement in relation to SDGs was still minimal. With efforts on the preservation of the environment exhibiting a declining trend. Ladies and gentlemen, in 2004, UNESCO declared the forest area in Sumatra World Heritage because of its biodiversity. One of the areas is the Tesonilo National Park in Pulau Nijansi, Rio Province. Home to more than 10,000 plant species and a specific type of the large tree called Sialang tree. Crucial in honey production, each tree is capable of hosting bee colonies producing 500 kilograms of honey every year. In spite of the significance of this natural phenomenon, excessive anthropogenic activities have placed the area, including Tesonilo National Park, in the World Heritage Danger List. Deforestation, forest fires, and practices of the monoculture are often the causes. This environmental degradation has resulted in a declining groundwater level, which is also a precursor to inundation and rock disaster in the low-lying coastal region in Indragili Hilir Regency. If we ignore this, how will life the next generation in the future look like? Ladies and gentlemen, indigenous Patalangan people with their local wisdom display sensitivity to their surroundings. For example, Sialang trees and the supporting vegetation that the local people call Rimba Kepung Sialang. Sialang trees are the tree of the choice for the beehives and are always surrounded by the smaller trees providing home to various species. Their traditional honey harvesting, even known as Manumbai, take place at the Sialang tree demonstrated their sensibility in taking something from nature without damaging it. However, this tradition is now under threat of massive land conversion and land clearing. Ladies and gentlemen, the solution to keep a sustainable rimba kepung sialang, a robust conservation concept that integrates local wisdom, environmental conservation, and local economic empowerment must be created. A scheme which is not only increasing public awareness, but also protect the indigenous people at Indiri. Technological advances 4.0 will play an instrumental role in this ecotourism model. Website, travel tour application, even tour virtual will help ensure its smooth operation. All this requires synergistic cooperation of stakeholders. The government, the community, business people, academia, and media. Ecotourism routine in local culture, the efficient benefit of IT 4.0 and stakeholders' joint efforts are a solution for sustainable development and fulfillment of SDG 2015 in the conservation of the terrestrial ecosystem, as well as empowering the local economy. Ladies and gentlemen, today's circumstances put my mother's actions in perspective. I hope that. Through this speech, I can motivate each and every one of us that we all have a part to play to maintain the world biodiversity. Lastly, speak up and act. Words are as important as action. Thank you.